Next contestant is uh, Mr. Uh, Raghav Mundra. Over to you now. You can share your screen now. Yes, sir. So good afternoon to everyone over here. My name is C.A. Raghav, and I am here to present how we can use artificial intelligence for extracting data. And uh, I'll be applying this use case on making fixed asset register from various invoices. Now, as you can see over here, there are uh, there's a factory of our client which is being in construction, and there are several independent units. There are around four to five independent standalone units, and there are a few common areas like road construction, uh, roads which are connecting the units, and other landscape areas. Now, the contractor supplies us with their uh, completion memorandums. These memorandums can be expensed off in the PNL or can be capitalized or can be allocated to the standalone units because some may be for the common areas. Just imagine your article is sitting with thousands of such memorandums from various suppliers. Just imagine reading these detailed memorandums, understanding the technical terms of construction, recognizing something as an asset or as an expenses, then measuring and allocating all these expenses or assets into standalone uh, units. It's a very tedious task. And this journey of classifying capital work in progress to fix asset register would take around two to three months for a couple of articles. This task is repetitive in nature and involves less level of judgment. So we can delegate this task to artificial intelligence. I'll just show you how. So I have already loaded my prompt and one of the memos, which we are going to send to chat GPT. And uh, till the time it thinks I'll give you certain pointers and we'll discuss the prompt. So as a responsible chartered accountant, First job is to ensure that we maintain confidentiality of our data. So we should use temporary chat function of ChatGPT. Now let me read the prompt out for you. I am a chartered accountant and I have an assignment of preparing fixed register for a factory. Here I have defined who the user is and this enables the artificial intelligence to step into the shoes of uh, the person who is interacting and hence gives them with the vision or with the point of view of the person or the user. The institution premise comprises of five blocks, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A7. I'm uploading the abstract to you, which has a measurement summary for the work done. I want you to divide the invoice value and ratio of measurements. So this is a statement which is clear, crisp, and precise, and is describing my requirement to the intelligence. Produce a tabulated output with particulars as a column showcasing each work done, one column for each block and a total column. So the prompt specifies the output requirement and I have also given a format in which I want the output so that I get a comparable and a better to analyze output. Now let's check whether uh, the AI has performed its task or not. So it is still thinking, uh, okay, so there's one small error. I'll re-send uh, the prompt to it. Just give me a second. Just give me a second.
actually it was not able to see previously in the prompt anyways i had a, a backup ready with me so i'll share you what the output is afterwards i'll uh, uh, make you see the live demo also so as you can see that we had shared an input file i'll showcase the input file also to you so this is an this is a memorandum of completion given by the contractor okay so we have done sand cladding work and basalt rock fixing work in our institution's corridors okay so the total amount was 656157 and uh, 149000 for just one other kind of work so over here we can see that there are certain measurements which is being given for each of the unit okay and the total goes to 164 square meters of work done now let's see how the allocation is done by the chatbot so over here as you can see the sand cladding work has been allocated amongst the four blocks let's just check the accuracy of uh, the work performed by ai because we cannot just completely rely on ai so a2 as you can see a2 i'll just insert a small formula sum of the total work done in a2 divided by entire work done at our site multiplied by the amount so this comes to 76,144 rupees, which is exactly or approximately the same, which was given to us by artificial intelligence. Let's check whether the live demo has worked or not. It is still thinking. So by the time it thinks, I tell you well, a few more uh, tips. I have used a single prompt over here as most of the AIML engineers prescribe that you should use one simple detail and clear prompt in order to avoid confusion and a single shot training mechanism is best mechanism for deriving better outputs. Secondly, if you can see over here, I have used chat GPT-04 mini high. So this is a model which is best used for an analyzing data and for uh, you know, for uh, better compilation and better analysis. And it has higher accuracy as compared to other models. In our profession, accuracy plays a very crucial role. So we can give two, three minutes, but we cannot compromise on our accuracy. So by the time it uh, thinks and analyzes the data, it usually takes around three, four minutes. I'll share another abstract. So after that, I had shared one more invoice with uh, the intelligence. So this was the other invoice which I shared. And similarly, I got an output where it had actually allocated the entire amount to A2 because the entire uh, it has allocated amount to A2, A7A. Because, yeah, because only two work were uh, pending and then we had compiled the entire uh, uh, outputs. So we actually made FAR register. Now just see this entire, analyzing this entire abstract or the summaries, it would have taken around, uh, around an hour for a normal article to do. But AI did that within three to four minutes time. Points to be considered. We need to use professionally made memorandums. A detailed prompt, as I said earlier, should be used. And we need to be very selective with the model that we use until unless MCB protocol is implemented. AI is an extractor. We all use data and around 80% of our time goes in formatting, standardizing, or cleaning the data that we are using rather than analyzing and reporting it. So I would like to recommend that let's use artificial intelligence wherever small human judgment is needed or the task is repetitive in nature and allocate more of our time in analysis in any sort of area or where any where various formats and where various kinds of inputs are concerned. Let's just check whether it has produced result or not. It is still thinking, uh, but I have anyways showcased uh, 
the outputs to you. So last time also it took around four, five minutes. Uh, okay, so output is in front of you. So I have demonstrated live output also, and the output is exactly matching the previous output. So we can depend on the latest models to a certain extent. Thank you, sir. So you are not audible, your mic is off. I think you have given the extract of the MB book, which is used by the contractor. And uh, you... I had given an extract of the abstract or the work completion memo. Sir, I practically went for making a making an FAR register of a 500 crore institute. And mm -hmm. the entire institute, you know, there were several uh, abstracts. There were more than 600 abstracts. And it would have a taken, mm -hmm. the assignment was for two months. I used okay. artificial intelligence and I did some manual techniques and the entire FAR was made by me in three days time. So we saved okay. a lot of time because entire work was repetitive in nature. Yes, yes. So it's a really good use case, uh, particularly in the construction line or the real estate, uh, this could be easily replicated. Uh, one more thing, sir. Like I just showed you about FAR, but data extraction in itself is a very big application of artificial intelligence and it can be used in all of our lives, wherever voucher or wherever any uh, data or document is concerned. And you know, like ledgers or there are several things where we can extract data from various vouchers. So instead of making our articles sit with those uh, vouchers and documents, we can use AI. I can upload 600 vouchers at a time and fetch data from it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Raghav. We can move to the